So moving on to contexts. So contexts are um, so there's something that exists on this language that is defined from the start that is called the context. Okay, so let's see how this looks. So basically, a context has what is the thread ID, it has procedures, functions for the allocation, it has function for the logger, it has function for asserting, and it has something that is interesting that is here, that is this, the, the temporary storage, which we'll talk about. So um, this is really interesting, especially when you worked with some, some like, uh, libraries that just do stuff in weird ways, like, for example, they print, and you don't want them to print, and you have to deal with this kind of stuff, or um, you want them to have their own memory pool, so you don't want them to just allocate anywhere. You have this memory pool that you want to use for them to create their own memory. So this is what this is, basically. So the context defines, okay, what is the default allocator that you're going to use? So the idea is that you could just define a context, pass it on to whatever you're going to use it, and then, for example, it's going to pre-allocate a chunk of memory, and it's just going to use that chunk of memory. It's not going to do anything like in the heap randomly. So this is pretty interesting, and the logger stuff is also pretty interesting. And another thing that's pretty interesting is the temporary storage. So the temporary storage is this concept of okay, let's have um, let's have something that allows you to allocate memory however you want without worrying too much. Okay. Because the thing is, since we need to deal with memory management, then we need to deal with, okay, allocating memory, deallocating memory. So every time we're going to be allocating memory somewhere, you're just going to start fragmenting things all over the place. So the idea of the, of the temporary storage is basically this is just a pre-allocated memory um, allocator, <laughs> memory area. And at the moment, you see that it's like defined with, with 16K. And basically, you can just have functions that allocate here but you don't have to worry about freeing it because you just do a, a, a big free at the end and you basically the free the way it works so think about it as so you're allocating right so you just have a big chunk of memory and by default it's nothing yeah so then you know um, so let's do this and then let's let's allocate a string um, so let's say that we want to allocate a string, but on the, this is just a function that exists that basically says, okay, allocate a string, but on the temporary storage. And let's say that we want a, a string with 256 bytes, right? So what happened is, you know, by default we had this reserve, this memory already waiting to be used. And now we occupy 256. So basically, it's at the top of that, right? And when you're resetting this memory, what you need to do is you need to go, there's a function that goes reset temporary storage. Basically, all that this function is doing is bringing these guys to zero. So you don't actually pay the price of freeing memory, you're just writing, 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 and then you move that pointer back to the front. And so this is very useful for whenever you have to, and we, we had this kind of stuff also like in, in, the, in the other project, this kind of concept of a frame allocator. But here, it, it's not. It's up to you if this is a frame allocator or if this is some allocator that you just use for a certain amount of time and then you reset it. But it's this idea that you can just allocate memory, use it however you want. For example, to let's say that you need to do a frame uh, frame rate counter or something. So you just use this instead of allocating memory somewhere and freeing it, you're just using this and then reset it. So it's just something that is temporary. You you can trash this memory as much <laughs> as much as you want, but then it has a, a cheap free, right? The, the whole thing is that you know you cannot keep a pointer to this memory, right? Because if you use it the next time, well things can happen, right? In the worst case scenario, you're just well. In the worst case scenario, well, in theory, nothing will crash, but you will get memory that may no longer have what you had there, right? So you're going to have a string that's just pointing to something else. 
Um, so this is pretty interesting that it's built into the language, right? This kind of concept of, you know, just a fast uh, way to allocate and, and to 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 not worry about memory fragmentation and man memory management, right? So for example, if you're doing a game like at the moment when I'm doing Netflix, at the end of the frame, I call this guy, right? And I just reset it. So that's um, anyway pretty interesting. Um, you guys have any question about that? It is very cool, but it's 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 let's say it's not something that it's new, right? Because like in it's like uh, red, we have this stuff, right? But it, like the frame uh, memory pool or whatever it was called. But it's cool that it's built into the language and kind of pushing this idea of you know understanding these concepts and figuring out how you can do stuff with you know minimal cost, right? And not being too worried about m managing memory and whatever. Even though you have the defer thing, that is pretty cool. Um, so now let's go into a separate thing that is like a continuation of this, that is the threads, right? So when you're creating a thread, um, here I need to pass a function. You need you need to have a function that is like um, whatever. So this receives the thread. And it needs to return an S sixty four um, context and here it needs to go Fred Funk. Then we can use this thing, right? So we can just go defer thread destroy. Um, thread, right, and we just go thread start, thread, right, if I'm not mistaken, no, I am mistaken, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? What is this? What is this? Oh, maybe it needs to be in. Uh, okay, maybe it has problems because there's no main. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, we can fix that. Um, no, that's not the problem. What the hell? Fred create Fred This shouldn't cause a problem. This shouldn't cause a problem. What am I missing? Oh okay, that's stupid. We need to wait for the friend. <laughs> um, what is it called? It is non thread. Um, let's just leave it like that. So let me see, maybe you don't actually want to need this. So I was being 
Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so basically, when you're doing a thread, you're basically pushing another context. So this is the same kind of thing, but it's still using like the same functions. But if you see now, the temporary uh, storage is different. All right? So basically, that's it. That's it in terms of threads um, and context. Do you guys have any question? We're going fast. This stream is going to be so much faster than the previous one. Um, not that I've seen. I don't think so. Uh, using asynchronous. Maybe there is. No, no, no. No, this is a variable. Um, I don't think so. At least I haven't seen anything like that. I haven't seen anything like that. No. There's an async J. Well, this is uh, part of the sound player. So this is just something that, you know, handles the asyncness of the sound player, I guess. 